Shalom and greetings to my brothers and sisters from Master Yeshua, the Messiah. Brother Nick here, and today is the eighth day of the sixth month on Elohim's Enoch Solar Calendar, August 26, 2020. And this video is about the two 364-day calendar years and Rosh Hashanah, which is the head of the year. So there are two 364-day calendar years, an ecclesiastical calendar year, which starts on the day following the spring equinox, and the Secretarian civil calendar year, which starts on the first day of the seventh month, which is the holiday of Yom Teruah. The purpose of this video is to share with everybody all the locations which mandate a 364-day year, and also share the location in the Dead Sea Scrolls that mentions and implies the Secretarian civil calendar year starting on the first day of the seventh month and ending on the last day of the sixth month. I then will explain how the Secretarian civil calendar year fits on a 365.25 day solar cycle. Here is all the mentions that I have compiled of a year being 364 days, which is one day short of the solar cycle, and also 10 days longer than a lunar year. As you can see, all of the locations here, there are nine of them, where it mentions that the year is 364 days. You can pause this video and read these scriptures for yourself. Considering that the year is 364 days long, this means that the lunar year of 354 days is false. The 354 day lunar year of 12 lunar months is false. And also the lunar solar calendar year is also false. So the only place that I'm aware of a 354 day year mentioned that I've come across in any text is in Jubilees chapter six and when you read about it, it is identified as error. I suggest everybody read Jubilees chapter 6, 32 through 38. But if you come down here where I highlighted in red, it says, For there will be those who will absurdly make observations of the moon, how it disturbs the seasons, and comes in from year to year, ten days too soon. For this reason, the years will come upon them, and they will disturb the order and make an abominable day, the day of testimony, and an unclean day, a feast day, and they will confound all the days, the holy with the unclean, and the unclean day with the holy, and they will go wrong as to the months, and Sabbaths, and feasts, and jubilees. And then it goes on to give us the instruction to make the year 364 days only. So with that being said, the lunar calendar year is false. So now let me go ahead and share with you the location of the Secretarian Civil Calendar Year in the Dead Sea Scrolls. It's going to be found in this scroll, 4Q3943-71I. I'll be pulling up the scroll right now, but it talks about the, it says that the year is complete, 364 days. So this scroll gives us the instruction and the understanding that the Secretarian Civil Calendar Year ends with the com completion of the 364th day that happens at the end of the sixth month. I'm gonna be showing you that in the Dead Sea Scrolls in my next slide. Now, before I do, it's important to note that the translator, he was lacking in his understanding. He had an error and still has an error in his understanding as he uses and implies Gregorian days of the week that Constantine instituted. So I've proven from one of my previous videos that the days of the week the, that we have now are not Yahweh Elohim's days of the week. His calendar is not governed by man's standards of time, and a standard of man's time is the Gregorian days of the week, which was Constantine, which came from Constantine that he instituted. So I proved that in my previous video, and rather that the days of the week are founded by the sign, the great sign of the sun on the earth, which is the spring equinox per Jubilees chapter two, verse nine. So now that I've given you a disclaimer regarding the Gregorian days of the week that, that the translator implied, let me now share with you the Dead Sea Scrolls. So here I am in the Dead Sea Scrolls. I'm on, I'll put a link for this archive. It looks a little bit rough because of the way that it was translated 
back like in the 80s or whatever, whenever it was translated. And some of the text has been reconstituted. Some of it has been implied by the translator's best understanding, especially where he puts in days like mon equals Monday, equals Sunday, etc. So disregard that where it talks about Monday and, and all of those things. He didn't have a full understanding when he made this translation. But right here, this part right here, it's called the Secretarian Calendar, the Civil Calendar. And it's this fragment right here, 4Q3941-2. And I'll also be taking a look at 403943-71I. And that's what we'll, I'll be really taking a look at here. But if we go here, and get, this Secretarian Calendar, I subscribe to the authenticity of this. I believe that this fragment, this scroll fragment is reliable. And so what you have here is you have is a list of the Sabbath days and the festival days and the dates that they are on. I'm going to start reading off some examples in the fourth month. On the fourth month of it, on the fourth of the fourth month is a Sabbath. On the 11th, a Sabbath. The 18th of the fourth month, a Sabbath. On the 25th of the fourth month, a Sabbath. On the second of the fifth month is a Sabbath. On the third of the fifth month is the Feast of New Wine. And you just keep on going and keep on going. And it comes down here on the sixth month. On the seventh of the sixth month is a Sabbath. On the 14th of it, which is the sixth month, is a Sabbath. The 21st of it, a Sabbath. On the 22nd of the month is of the sixth month is the Feast of New Oil. And then the wood offering. And then on the 28th of the month is the Sabbath. And then the first and the second day and the third are to be added to it and the year is complete 364 days and that is what we're looking at the year is complete 364 days and this is dealing in the sixth month so how we're going to go ahead and take a look at this is i have the official enoch calendar here with the biblical anniversaries and again the sabbaths are in purple and the green is the new month festival. So this is the first day of the sixth month. I'm going to be dealing with the first portion right here starting on the sixth month. So on the seventh day of the sixth month is a Sabbath. And as you'll see on my calendar, seventh day of the sixth month is a Sabbath. It's in purple. The next Sabbath is on the 14th is a Sabbath. And here we have the 14th day of the sixth month is a Sabbath. The 21st of it is a Sabbath. And we come here. The 21st day of the sixth month, it's in purple, it's a Sabbath. Then it says the 22nd of it, being the sixth month, is the Feast of New Oil. And as you can see, the Festival of New Oil is on the 27th day of the sixth month. And then the following, the 28th day of it, is a Sabbath. And here's the 28th day of the sixth month, and as you can see, it is purple. He says of the 12th month. It's a Sabbath, but that is implied by this uh, by this translator. We, when you see it in parentheses, he implied that because we are dealing with the sixth, and the, that word for the sixth is there. Month is implied, as you can see, it's in parentheses. So the twenty eighth of it is a Sabbath, as you can see. And then let's go ahead and count. It says the first and the second day. So your first day of the week. The second day of the week and the third day are to be added to it. So here we were at the Sabbath on the 28th. We added the first day, the second day, and the third day, which were added to it. And then it says, and the year is complete, 364 days. And we know with the end of this day, this is the end of the day, is the 364th day of the Secretarian civil calendar year which means that the following day the first day of the seventh month is the first day or the head of the year rosh hushana rosh hashana is means head of the year and it's the head of the civil calendar year so here you have it brothers and sisters and i have it outlined right here rosh hashana head of the civil secretarian civil royal calendar year i call it the royal calendar year because this is the year that kings were anointed. So this is very important to understand as I think that this is very important also to count our jubilees. We have to under, have this understanding 
to count the Jubilee year and when to count the year. And I believe that the Jubilee year is based off the Secretarian civil calendar year and not the ecclesiastical calendar year. I'm going to be doing some research on it, but I believe the Jubilee year is this calendar year. But you would give 10 days to repent for the 10 days of repentance, and then you would blow the trumpet signifying that the year had happened. Possibly. I don't have that full understanding yet. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be digging deep on that here. And Yahweh willing, I'll be led by the spirit of truth in those matters. But there you have it, brothers and sisters. The secret the Secretarian Civil Calendar Year. It's right here in the Dead Sea Scrolls, and it ends with the sixth month. You count the sixth month, and at the end of the sixth month, you will have the 364th day. The year is completed in 364 days. So that means that there's two 364-day calendar years. A ecclesiastical calendar year, starting on the first day of the first month, and then the Secretarian Civil Calendar year, which starts on the first day of the seventh month. So I've made a couple of previous videos about the 364-day calendar versus the 365-day solar cycle. And in, those, in these two videos, I proved that there's only one method to correctly calibrate the calendar year that produces a 364-day calendar year every year and you have to use the, the sign of the sun to do that and if you don't it's a false calendar it's incorrect and the only way that you can do that is by using the sun to establish the days of the week it resets the days of the week or or it starts the day of the week count according to the sign the great sign on the sun, of the sun which is the spring equinox in another video i've also explained how to account for the leap day every fourth year and in my video about Job, the 365th day that was missing found, that's the difference between the solar cycle and the calendar year. It's one day or 1.25 days. I explained that Job cursed the day that he was born and had it removed from the reckoning of the year. So that means that the book of Job that I understand is pre-flood and must have been from the same era of Enoch. I explained my understanding that Job was born on the spring equinox and had the spring equinox removed from the reckoning of the solar year, or the, at that time it was a solar year, and it later became a solar cycle, and thus made the calendar 364 days, which is different than the 365.25 day solar cycle. This means that the spring equinox and the extra 366 day that occurs every fourth year are not counted in the calendar. So please watch those previous videos, all four previous videos that I mentioned if you haven't seen them or have that understanding yet. This same principle or calendar rule of not accounting the spring equinox and every fourth year, the leap day, would also apply to the Secretarian Civil Calendar, thus making the Secretarian Civil Calendar also 364 days. So here's a graphic that I have of the Secretarian Civil Calendar Year versus the Ecclesiastical Calendar Year. As, you, as we read in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Secretarian Calendar Year, it uses the same months as the Ecclesiastical Calendar Year. The months number 1 through 12 are the same. It just starts at a different month than the Ecclesiastical Calendar. As I read and shared with you in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the year ends on the last day of the sixth month, which means that the head of the year starts on the first day of the seventh month. So it's months number seven through six. So here you can see it, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, the spring equinox, which is not accounted for, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can count the numbers, 30, 30, and 31 is 91 days. Again, 30, 30, and 31 is 91 days. That's 182 days. 30, 30, and 31 is another 91 days. So that's 273 days. And then 30, 30, and 31 is another 91 days. That's three, that means that this is 364 days total. You do not count the day of the spring equinox. And every fourth year, you do not count the leap day. And that's how you get a 364 day Secretarian civil calendar year count every year. 
the ecclesiastical calendar year starts on the first day of the first month, and you have months 1 through number 12, 30, 30, and 31, 30, 30, and 31, 30, 30, 31, and 30, 30, and 31 for 364 days. Then the following day is either the spring equinox or every fourth year it's the leap day. And after the leap day, you would have the spring equinox. Those two days are not included in the reckoning of the year. So that is the difference, and this is how they work. They're all using the same months, but, but they're different calendars. The secretary and civil calendars are the years of the reckonings of the kings. So when we read about the history in kings, we read about when they had their, their reign in such and such year of this king. Well, we would know that the, that, that year, the calendar year for that king started on the first day of the seventh month. That's when he would be anointed king, which is like a coronation, like Solomon. He was sent down to the Gihon Spring and they blew the trumpets. Well, that was on the first day of the seventh month, Yom Teruah, but it was also Rosh Hashanah, the head of the Secretarian Civil Year. It possibly could be for the year of Jubilee, recounting the year, the Jubilee years as well. And I'll be looking into that in another video. So hopefully you're blessed by the information in this video, brothers and sisters, as to the understanding of the Secretarian Civil Calendar Year. It's very important because the kings are anointed on the first day of the seventh month. So I'm signing off, and hopefully you're blessed by the information in this video, brothers and sisters, and shalom.